boom friends boom friends i just wanted to see what would happen when i did that <laughs> if i went like that i want to see on the screen the timing but it worked the sync was perfect hello friends welcome to episode 24 of let's talk marketing the hit varietal convo marketing talk show you find every week across twitch instagram TikTok. I'm making up things. Twitch was correct. <laughs> Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and now Twitch uh, as well, too. I want to thank you all for being here with me this week for episode 24. That now means we've officially gone six consecutive months with an episode every single week where we have sat and talked about film and entertainment marketing for you, hopefully giving out some valuable information and tips. Um, as always, I am your host, Sean M. Smith. And as always... I am saying, oh, you can't hear me. You can't hear me. Hmm. Settings. Audio. Scarlet eye to eye. It says it's working. Try again. Can you hear me now? Okay. No. Park, he can hear me. Park, Ethan can hear me. So maybe you on Facebook. Maybe a Facebook thing. Park, can you hear me now? Because I just made a change to something. Ethan can hear me. You scared me because that was a lot of elo I was very eloquent. There were no pauses that were inefficient. I said a lot of words. It, I, Monster Pacific Punch was coming through for me in the clutch in the afternoon here. Oh, thank you. Whew. All right. Park admits it was him. Darian Sean. Thank you for coming. I'm glad that you can hear me. That's important. Next time, we're going to fire off ones for, for if you can hear me because you guys scare me with your words and the wrong speakers. Uh, so I'm going to very briefly step back onto the other monitor just so that I can send this link out to a group that likes me so that we can make sure they know this week's episode on how to build a better strategy is live now. Okay. Let's see if that helps at all. Bring some people in. So the plan for this week has been that I am going to present you guys with, boom, that orange. I love that orange, by the way. It gives me a nice hue. Makes me look like I can get a beard when I can't. Um, I'll take this off. But the idea is that we're going to talk about something uh, important that we don't normally get into. The show is called Let's Talk Marketing, and we always hit the nail on the head. Uh, and we talk about um, conversations around the topic of marketing, but we don't normally dive into marketing. Like, what does Sean do past the brainstorm phase when Sean works with a team, when Sean's working with his team or in a team or with someone else's team, uh, what does he do? Uh, I will not make this boring today. This will be conversational. I want you to ask questions. I want you to make recommendations because this is going to be uh, pretty open-ended uh, and maybe comparable to what you may already do in your real life. Um, but it may be illuminating a little bit of a light. I said, it's kind of crazy that we're going to try and do this in 50 minutes. Um, but we're going to do that. We may or may not get to words of the week of the week as a result. I'm going to try, um, but I love to do that because my son likes to hammer them in there and then laugh about it when I just told him now, like, hey, wish me good luck because I always want good luck for the show. Break a leg. He goes, break a leg and they, <laughs> good work with word, or good luck with words of the week. So um, we're going to start uh, as soon as we can, because I have a lot of things to dive through. I want to make plenty of explanation and I have backstory that I have to get into as well too. So, uh, let's talk marketing episode 24, as I said earlier, six months. Um, that is, that's crazy guys. Congrats to us. Thank you for hanging around with me and trusting me with so much of your time every Tuesday at two 15, except for one week, it was at eight o'clock, I think on a Tuesday night. Um, again, I do want to bring up because it comes up every time. <laughs> this is funny. I want to see if I can do the same face. No, I think the angle is going to be too hard while I'm looking at it. Um, great interview, myself and Jay Horton. Uh, if you want to check it out, it's at bit.ly, uh, all capitals, SMS film. Just going to stay in the deck in the meantime. Uh, right now, we've got over 550 views on it, which is pretty great for me. Um, I also did an interview with Jay as well, too. 
Um, and I can share that with you. Uh, I think it's episode 16 uh, of the show. Um, but that, that went really well as well. So we had a really good time. Um, oh, yeah. Like the Kool-Aid man. But I don't remember this character's name. Anyone know this guy's name? So uh, it doesn't matter to me. I just saw this. Th- but it's all coming together like a good plan, which is why we did this. Um, originally, I said we were going to do a marketing plan. I want to make sure that we no marketing plan is going to work without a strategy. So a marketing plan usually is for the highest. I'm sorry, I'm snapping the pen is for the highest level of structure for a corporation. So if I form uh, Sean Co and my goals corporately for the year are X, Y, Z, and then I have to build a strategy to hit goals A, B, C. Um, you know, well, what we're doing now is you have a company. Let's say uh, Parik has his film out um, and his overall goal for the year is to make $100,000. Now, his only goal should not be uh, that, but let's say it is. Um, and his what means to get there is to sell enough copies of this DVD that he has for this film, which we'll call Llama. And the film Llama, um, how's he going to do that? Well, he's got DVDs, uh, he's got digital downloads, he's got blank, and he's got to do those three things. All right, so that's his plan. How do we get there? That's the strategy. That's the most important piece there, and that's what we're going to build today. So let's build a plan. In order to do that, in order to build a solid plan, I literally laid these out. You could do these all you know, really, I'm going to reveal these one at a time, but let's have them up on the screen and discuss uh, while they're out there. So there's no surprises. Uh, You've defined your campaign goals. So you know that my goal for um, the campaign that I'm doing here is that my DVD, let's say it's Park's goals for selling the DVD. Um, My cost per, uh, per acquisition on a sale I want that to be less than $4 per sale because I'm selling them for $8. I want the $4 of profit uh, n- negating all the rest of the production. All right, so we'll say it's CPA of four. Okay, good. Uh, you have to identify your target audience as a whole. So you need to understand the audience. We've talked about audience building in the past, and if we'd like to do that in the future, I'd say shoot me an email, um, and we'll put it on the, the docket for a future episode. We can do some audience building, building avatars and personas. Um, you can choose your digital channels. Uh, obviously, it's important that you know where you're going to be successful or where you're going to have time to try and be the most successful. Um, you're not always going to be able to participate everywhere. I don't have time with most of my clients, even with myself. I neglect so much. Uh, I'll be back. And here I am. Um, I don't have time to pay attention to stuff like TikTok. I never had time to pay attention to Snapchat. This is just for me um, because I spent so much time on Twitter and also Facebook um, and to be fair, I always felt like it kind of was a drain on my bandwidth for time I wanted to spend with my son. Um, I, I didn't feel like I could adequately market uh, Potato Salad Marmalade, our, our podcast, if I was spending so much time on those other channels, which I didn't see a return on. Um, it didn't make sense to me. Like, it doesn't make sense for a 42-year-old man uh, to try and be a micro-influencer on Snapchat um, when realistically, who's my audience? It's going to be my mom, which... Why wouldn't I just be like, hey, mom, check this thing out that we're doing. <laughs> don't don't try and buy my stuff. Um, setting a budget is incredibly important. Um, you know, doing all of these little things. Just we've talked in the past. What do I say for budgets? Does anyone right now, anyone in chat know what the Sean budget is? If you've got a small project, what do I say you set aside percentage wise? Who knows? Anyone? Don't make me Bueller you. I will Bueller you. Bueller. All right, so the answer on a small budget, yes. Park and Ethan both came through in the clutch and said 20%. If your budget is spent already and you've already gone past production and you're at a post, you're going to only probably find 10%. You're probably starved for budget. Um, but if you're still sitting on budget in pre or uh, or during production, you're going to want to go 20%, 15 20%. If you're on a much larger budget and you're a larger, larger film, you can afford to go 25 30%, uh, even higher if you're dealing with a very large film. If you're telling me like you know Godzilla versus Kong, 
if they were like, oh, we only spent 10% of our marketing budget, I would laugh because there's no way. There's literally no way. And you and I all know that. Um, but you got to set your budget and you got to stick to it. That's the most important thing. If you if you are smart with your budget, uh, your budget will take care of you. Um, and that's just something you have to be comfortable with uh, as a whole. You have to know that, you know, you can't you can't waste it and you can't change it because it's kind of like the first time you mess with your money and you go and, and go take more from somewhere because you didn't budget or you saw a good opportunity. The first time you go take more money, you're going to do it again on a bigger thing more easily. And, uh, and you don't, you don't want, God, you don't want to do that. You just plain don't want to do that. Let's wrap up these last three. You want to create a detailed project plan and scheduled campaign tasks. We're kind of going to be doing that right now, uh, which is okay. Uh, collaborate with your team to create content for your digital campaign. If you have a team, uh, that's great. You can delegate tasks in a minute. We're going to show you with monday.com how we can do that and then manage campaign status and deadlines, um, which is super important. Super great. All right. So, Bang, what are we doing? Let's elaborate. Remember this guy? So back in March, we made a fake vampire film called Locked. I'm going to read a little bit about this again as a refresher for those of you who may not have been here. I don't believe Dorian was chilling. Parrick wasn't chilling with us at that point. So here's the thing. It's an admittedly fake 2021 indie horror film that was getting a pre-Halloween release to avoid the holiday logjam. I just made this all up, by the way. I found this thing called Locked on um on canva and was like i'm making it i was going to make a poster for a horror film like i have for other terrible films and i just saw this and was like i'm going to use it um the goal of the campaign was simple to create awareness with unique stunts and solid fundamentals that was all i wanted to do we sat down in the group we jam boarded this thing made a nice little thing the movie is about a 400 year old vampire that's been captured for centuries in a lead tomb i don't know why lead i think we were just gonna flip the script on uh, uh vampiric lore um, and a group of scientists hears this tale from a local while out of an excursion and takes a detour they'll never forget. All right. Now, the idea was with the marketing and just again, so we, we're up on what the fundamentals were that we were talking about. Um, I wanted to be doing all the traditional stuff I talk about with my jam boards. I wanted to be hitting all of the nine elements. So you're going to hit social, paid social uh, or social, organic social, paid social, SEO, email, uh, video influencer a viral stunt mm, where am i miss i pulled email down already uh i've thrown it off i only need two more digital pr and website and uh we just i just want to make sure we had everything there and i want to make sure all the stuff is covered what you need the bases and uh that's what we had so let's see what we have but i wanted things to feel organic and to feel like they lived in the real world so what i put together uh, not words of the week um, what I put together was just a little piece here. Like, Hey, I want this to kind of be like a site, not that looks like the Blair Witch site did, but site that kind of felt like, you know, like here's this element here. You know, here's the canisters, you know, the 16 millimeter canisters supposedly that they found in Burkittsville, Maryland, which by the way, it was right around the corner from where I live right now. I mean, it's true. It's not real, but it's around the corner from where I live. Um, and all the tapes, all the high eight tapes and uh, all the stuff. But like the idea was that like there'd be some, some depth to it so that when the jam board happened and we're going to move to the jam board, I got to take the screen down. So give me one sec. I got to move over. So when this happened, so that when we're here, all of this stuff has a purpose. In a place, but the stuff needs to get done and needs to have deadlines. This stuff, and it's a lot. Right now, if I told now, Ethan, right now, if I told you by yourself, just do this stuff, looking at this sheet, what would you do? If you're if you're with me right now, you see this stuff on this page. We put this together, and I said, walk away with this. This is great. What would you do with this? I'm going to tell you what you probably do. And this is just a guess. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You might do one or two things on here because the rest is either incomprehensible nonsense or two. It seems like there's so much stuff here. You wouldn't know where to start, right? Does that seem fair? 
And that's not fair. Be oh, I love Oh, Ethan. We are going to be buddies forever. Because what you just said <laughs> was the best thing. But if you didn't do spreadsheets, you, you, yeah. And Michael, good point. Without spreadsheets, without some sort of order, it's just chaos. And I'm going to go through the chaos. We'll look at the chaos. We have the slingshot because this is a second tier horror film. So we're looking at second tier horror sites. So we need to do the slingshot technique that Smitty here talks about where we go, Hey, we're looking at this, this target over here, an Emery board. I know um, this target over here. And we, you know what? This is Rolling Stone, but they're not paying attention to us because we're a little, we're a little film from a company with no distro that they don't know about or care about. Well, in order to get there, we got to set up over here and just kind of pull back this, this weighted rock. And this first rock is going to go to, you know, bloody disgusting. And then like gore, igore.com and then MTV news or whatever these things are. And we just add to our press release with more and more tremendous quotes. I'm going to one up you. We're going to use Monday. We're going to use Monday. And that's actually what we're building the strategy in today. How's that sound? Monday.com. Who knows Monday? Give me a one if you guys know what Monday.com is. So a lot of what we have here was some viral stunts that we would put together. And I believe Ethan played a really big role in viral stunts. I'm going to bring, bring out the... Uh, I'm going to put down the emery board. I should have grabbed the fidget spinner from HubSpot. Well, what we're looking at here, we have viral stunts. You be the archaeologist. There's a creative event to set the dig site with vampire and vampiric lore artifacts. Person to put together the item with the keys, the crypt winner, the haunted quest gets 10 grand. Just a small amount. Yeah, you will hear about them a lot. And the thing is, it's there. Once you get the hang of them, the way their presentation works uh, makes sense. So um, basically, this is a lot of what's here just to kind of, kind of familiarize yourself with what's going on again. Let's jump in. Let's see if uh, if this makes sense. So uh, here's the way their, their stuff works. So we'll go first, we'll do digital PR. This is their group title, and we'll put this in the group title, and you'll do item number one. So let's say item number one is uh, we'll do outreach to Rolling Stone. All right. And we'll write an update. It'll be like uh, Ethan to fall, uh, to write Rolling Stone for feature up. Update. Now, right now, if I had, uh, if I'd set this up for team access uh, and there are multiple members there, I could actually assign this to you. Enter another name, Ethan. But I uh, I don't have it right now. This is just for free for me. So because I don't, it's it's me. I don't use it for anyone but me. For anyone but me. And you can set the status so I could do working on it. Stuck done. So that way, whoever the admin on the whole thing is knows what's going on. So we're here. Working on this outreach to Rolling Stone digital PR. What's the next thing on that list? Let's go to the Jamboard. We'll go uh, paid social. Uh, we'll do the campaigns, dollar day campaign two versions. All right. So we'll do paid social. Here's the best part. Oh, I'll show you in a second. Let me do this and then I'll show you what the cool part about this is paid social. Uh, Dollar a day campaign. All right, so we're doing dollar a day campaigns. And what do we want here? Uh, two versions, modern archaeology. Until someone catches on and Katie's blog. Okay, two versions. Activity log. So this is you're going to be able to see who created the board and who logged in as well, too. So like if Ethan and I, Ethan, and I'm using, I hope you don't mind I'm using you as an example. I could use Michael or anyone else as well. I could use Parik. I could use Dorian. Um, I, I don't know who else is here. Actually, I'll use all of you. I'm going to use you loosely as examples uh, as far as conversational. I hope you don't get offended by me doing so. Um, but let's say Parik in this instance, Parik, you're working paid social for this campaign for Locked. 
um, in here right now, I would be able to see what you've done on the campaign. There's also integrations available so that if you had, and this is not a commercial for Monday, by the way, this is literally just me using what I have. Um, but if there's anything else you could see, Slack, Gmail, Outlook. And I think my son just threw a slinky down the stairs. He's done with first grade today. And he just basically just YOLO'd and yeeted everything down the stairs. Today was it for first grade. Um, all right. So dollar a day campaign. We'll go here. I'll sign me to it. And then here's the thing. So we'll do working on it. And then I'll set an end date for the 19th. And I'll show due date and then watch check this out so i'll do the dollar a day campaign and then i'll set a more specific we'll do it let's say there's a five dollar a day that's a different can we'll just do this for experimental purposes just so that you guys can see what i'm talking about five dollar a day campaign um and then we'll just do uh, update uh this is to start once results come in from initial um, dollar day test. Okay. Great. Oh, cool. Gabri wow, this is nice. Gabrielle, hello. Welcome to the show. I'm usually funnier. Right now we're being serious. It's like you just showed up at a wedding and everyone was quiet <laughs> when usually it's a circus. Um, so thank you for the compliment. Uh, hopefully this part will help a little bit. Um, all right, so here's what we do. Close that. We'll move this to start here. And then what I can do in the Gantt chart as you can see, the time frame it's supposed to run towards, and if you wanted, you could move it over, and it will reflect in here. Uh, I'm showing you here. It'll reflect, and I'm moving my hand like you can see what I'm doing with my arm. Um, it'll reflect in here in the numbers. Um, as you can see, 20. But it'll also show you there's an entire paid social campaign running for eight days from the 19th to the 26th pretty cool right so and that's just the main table so we did digital pr and paid social so far um obviously what i'm doing is i'm trying to get the small ones out of the way because the larger ones are going to be the more congestive um messes as we will uh, because there's more stuff there and to be honest i don't know what that's gonna entail a new campaign nope not what i wanted uh, delete. Delete. New group. How do I make a new group? Where will it let me be? Hmm. You know what? I'll just stay. <sighs> Shoot. I realized what I need to do. Hmm. I classified them wrong. I'm used to it letting me do more groups. Add. Uh, There we go. They put it in a different place. I was used to it being here. And I had to find it in here. All right. New group. So what is the next one? Let us do uh, social. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So social media, we have ourselves a bunch of fun stuff. Uh, we're going to create a kick Katie. Cool. I'm going to be honest with you. I cannot speak today, which is terrible because I'm on the air with you guys, not with no one to cover for me. It must be all of the adrenaline I'm kicking from this being the most out of my wheelhouse show. Anyway, social. So we're going to do official handles. Um, so here's what we'll do. So we're going to do official handles first. Create official Handles. And we'll assign a date. We'll assign a date for the 16th status. Working on it. 
Uh, we'll go. Park, I'm getting in a car for 16 hours on Friday. I think that is going to be worse. So, who knows? Um, who knows? All right, here we go. Uh, Katie Avatar across the web. All right, so we got Katie Avatar. Uh, Katie Avatar. So we need... Uh, no, go to this, please. Facebook, YouTube, uh, TikTok. Yeah, because we need it to look like a real person. Okay. Uh, I didn't change that. Okay, cool. I also want that done on the 16th. So say it's two on the sixteenth, right? We'll do two on the sixteenth. Um, and again, let's let's say uh, I had assigned that to somebody, you know, but not me, just not me. Um, let's go here, back over, look at it uh, right, daily. So then we'll start talking about the cadence. Tweet heavily, food or vacation picks. So I'll do uh, in here. Can I go in there? Hmm. Sub item. Daily content. Daily content to start. Okay. All right, that was a sub item. We're done with that. Why is it saying resend my email? I already did that. Hmm, okay, that's weird. Monday's being weird. Everything's being weird. Didn't you guys also say that Facebook uh, was giving you audio glitches at the beginning? Didn't you guys say that? But YouTube was fine? Yahoo. Yahoo was fine? Okay, let's see. This starts 17th. Daily content to start on the 17th. Okay, so it's social media there. Um, okay, and then this this section down here, for those that can't see it, uh, I'll make it bigger for a second. No, that's not going to be helpful. This actually says, Katie finds diary and it leads on deeper tour of New Orleans, finds back alley vampire worship cults and more, is target of cult and forced to watch as he's resurrected, which is what happens in the movie. Locked that we created. That's the story, um, as it were. Um, so Katie, she accidentally becomes the catalyst for this story. And we make her character that's out there. Which, by the way, just so you know, something super cool is going on. Uh, it looks like the show Gossip Girl, which has been resurrected um, on, I think, Hulu, maybe? Um, not that I like the show, but they're doing exactly what we're talking about right now. They just started branded Instagram accounts for all of the characters. And it looks like what they're going to do is do cross in character, cross uh, content, cross promotional content on the profiles. So like, you know, the Sean Smith official Sean M Smith Facebook page uh, would be talking smack on, you know, uh, Shakira's official site. And she'd be pretending she knows who I was or am. Which, by the way, there is an official Sean M. Smith page because I had to do it for business analytics for Instagram. So, and I actually have people that are on the page, and it's funny. It is funny that there are people that like literally follow that page. They're all related to me, but it's funny to me. <laughs> it's like the most vain thing ever. All right. Anyway, so we've established Katie. Ooh, baby, when you talk like that. Um, Sorry, I, no more Shakira. But I gotta be honest with you, she's like this tall. I just want to hug her, just hug her, and all that hair, hug her. 
all that hair. Website. Okay, so the website, if we were doing a website, would take forever. If we're doing a, a website, if we're doing it. Well, let's see what I said for website. Uh, we'll own domain name. We'll pick landing page, modernarchaeology.com, Katie's blog, create a hub for the digital campaign. All right, so um, new campaign, new group for campaigns, uh, website. Uh, so this would be like a secure domain. Uh, contract developer. Uh, create art assets. Deliver. I mean, this is gonna be the most in depth because it's easiest for me to churn out. Deliver art assets. Um, first view. I don't know. And Ethan, if I'm like slaying a timeline right now that would make you uncomfortable with development stuff, I'm real sorry. I'm just putting one together that's fake. Uh, first, I'm going to say first view. Site, of demo site. Um, all right, let's do this. So let's say we secure the domain working. Uh, let's say this is done. Let's say this was due on the 8th and we did it. Let's say here we contracted the developer on Friday the 11th. This is done. Um, let's say over here. Well, that's cool. It does the little the things that look like Mike and Ike candies. Uh, create art assets. We're working on them. Well, we need to finish those by the 19th because um, we need to. We're stuck right now on delivering art assets because of that, um, because we needed to deliver those for the 19th. And that this is right now, this is held up, but we're not stuck on it um, because, let's say, it was uh, due for the ninth. We're supposed to see it for the first time for the ninth. So the idea here is that you're tracking your time. And then again, we'll go to the Gantt. There's a website. So you have a representation of, like, here's week 24 of 2021. You can see from the 14th to the 20th, here's what you have going on for the whole company. So you'll now know for all of your projects, regardless, here's a website, what you've got going on. Here's social media, what you've got going on. Digital PR, what you've got going on. And paid social. Paid social, you would just be starting your dollar a day campaigns because you're flexing them not to a website. At that point, it looks like you're just flexing them to what? A landing page or just gathering material on, on your website. So who knows? or uh, on your uh, social pages. So that's good stuff. Uh, let's see the timeline. And then there's this, this sort of view too. I don't like them. I mean, there's a ton of views in monday.com and there's a lot of, there's a lot of tools. It's all a matter of preference. I mean, you can just do like get Gantt.com if you like Gantt charts. I mean, I also like tables because this for me is a really good visualization tool. If I had assign something to someone else, it's there. Um, but you'll be able to see like, Okay, so what matters? So once we get this laid in there, Sean can start adding what the other steps are. Uh, so let's continue to get these in there. And Ethan's like, this is like the most simplified version of what to do for a website. He's like, there's so much stuff not put in there right now. And I agree with him. And I'm tired of seeing this. I already verified. Uh, website SEO. Uh, you know, I'll include this. I'll put SEO in here. Wait, well, no, I won't. That's not fair. Hold on, we'll come back to you. All right, so how's everyone doing so far? You guys still with me? Everyone still with me? Give me a one if you're with me here. Or... Ask a question if you have a question, because I want to make sure that I'm hitting on questions you may have, uh, not just talking to myself into the void in my office, in the quiet, listening to the cicadas, which are the worst thing ever. All right, Palmer, mm, still with me. Good man. All right, that's good. That always makes me feel good. I'm somehow making it entertaining enough to talk about a, a Gantt chart. <laughs> Like this, like, yeah, Gantt chart. Cool. Gabrielle, thank you for sticking around with me. It's good to have you with us. Uh, 
So here we go. We did SEO. We will now do video. Michael Erger with a one. All right, my man is with me. All right, cool. Video. All right, so we have video. We got to do video campaigns. And bear in mind, I want to offer that not every, um, not every campaign needs to have every single piece. Basically, uh, I when I build out a Jamboard, do this because I want to give you guys an opportunity to get as many different sort of energizing ideas. Ah, yes. Okay, here's a great question. I'm going to put this up because I want to – I wish I could bring Ethan in. I really could, but I got to do the board thing. How do you deal with scheduling when the exact release date might be variable? Streaming services aren't known for being good about when the film actually goes up. Here's the thing. Don't treat it like a premiere. You set an arbitrary date in the future. Let's say a week and a half, two weeks. You pick that date. You make that the premiere date. Now, if they can't hit that two-week date, well, then it's just kind of arbitrary premiere date. But the thing is, is that don't think of it as a coat and tie, pretty lady in a dress sort of premiere. Think of it as a, I'm going to buckle down my bootstraps and do this part. Uh, premiere. Paid social. That's when you set your campaigns and you push some MFers directly to that movie. Do whatever it takes to get your boots on the ground and get people running to watch that film. Put them in the right way. Because it's if you knew concretely, and you and I both know this, I think everyone here knows that, if you concretely knew that July 1st was your release date, you would do everything you could for July 1st. That's why you're asking the question. But we don't know that because obviously this isn't a reliable process and we know that. Um, I think... Pick a date in the future. After you submit, hold on to it for a bit. See what happens. And then whenever it's up there, the minute it's up there, treat it like this is the biggest deal in the world uh, as far as paid social and move forward from there. Um, because I would just say, oh, well, there's another way to do it. I mean, you can st it's still the same thing. I would literally say build everything. Make everything an X, X1, as in like June 1st or whatever that date is or day one, whatever you want to call it. And then the minute everything is live, you literally release that parking brake and let every single thing go that you've got, be it email, paid social, organic social, uh, your digital PR campaigns, push them all towards those locations. It doesn't matter at that point because you I'll be back in a second. There I come. I think my camera's overheating. Everything is, uh, is, is going to be ready for you at that moment. It's not good. Um, okay, here and here's the second question. Paul Rick asked the second follow up, and this is a really good one too. Is there not a risk of advertising fatigue? I did this with Crafty, set a date, and began my marketing. Waiting on numbers is something I was not concerned about. Okay, so depending on what you're spending, and depending on the size of the audience that you're advertising to, yes. If your audience is very small and you're spending a lot of money that saturated so that they see it more than 1.7 times in the span of one day, I think is what the number is. It could be 1.6, but if you're on Facebook and you're looking at like 1.7 times a day, they see the thing, they're going to get fatigued and then they're not going to see it anymore. Once they stop engaging with it or once they stop seeing it anymore, um, they'll never be served that ad again, which isn't helpful to you. Um you want to have it in the range of like uh, 1.3 to 1.4 per day max, um, just because it's it's more valuable view for them to have that. So that said, that's why it's not bad to have a slightly more broad audience than it is to have um, uh, more narrow. So if someone told you, Parik, focused solely on beer aficionados with your film, and they made that the key identifier for your film and your film's audience, you, they'd be doing you a disservice because realistically, people that drink don't always watch films. Some people just drink. So right off the bat, you don't know what percentage of the drinkers that you've now targeted are film fans. Does that make sense? Uh, first, Ethan, I hope I answered your question. If I didn't, hit me back with something. Paul Rick, I hope I answered your question as well, too. If I didn't, Hit me back with something. Give me ones if I answered, twos if I didn't, or hit a follow-up. 
advertising fatigue, yeah, is a real thing, but it's based on the size of the audience and then also the number of times they're seeing that individual ad uh, in the course of a day. Um, it, you just gotta, it's gotta be the size of the audience. All right, Ethan, good. I mean, you gotta, you gotta think of it. You just, and it's a good question, dude. I want you to know that. That's a good question. Um, all right, so what was next? We did video. Mm, 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 schnarf. Yeah, little Thundercats. Video, cell phone, vids of kids on Quest. Okay. Uh, creation. Uh, uh, okay. Actors for videos. Uh, hire film company to create. Um, edit. Promote. Ooh. All right. So what I'm writing here right now. In park. Thank you. I'm glad it makes sense. Uh, actors for videos. So I'm just saying right here, I want to make sure we get actors for the videos um, that we're also going to be hiring a film company to create those videos because in this video section here, uh, down here in cell phone, it says all cell vids of Quest that Katie is on with the team through email and social journey build while shooting the film. So we want to make sure that they're the film that's being created. This isn't B. This isn't uh, this isn't uh, B roll. This is actual footage being shot as cell phone. Uh, so we would need to have additional footage shot here. So, um, and then also stuff. So we'll just put this on. Uh, working on it. Stuck. Actually, let's put this in working on it. Edit. This is stuck. This is, and we'll keep this as gray. We'll set this for seven, one, seven, two. Oh, wait, no. Let this be seven, two. End of July. I built a website one time and I was using Monday.com to track the website and I had 146 tabs inside one group and uh, they were all allocated to someone. And my boss challenged me and said that I didn't know if they were accurate or not. And I was like, no, I checked them three times a day. They're real. And uh, we went through them and checked them. And he was like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. I was like with my laptop going over them while he was sitting at his desk looking at them. His it's crazy. Um, it's a very valuable tool. I mean, you can add a sub item in here. So be like sub item on edit, uh, internal, internal allocated powers. And then we can be like, uh, a freelancer for support. We'll hire a freelancer and then that's it. You know, and then like, look, so I got some internal hours, got some external hours. We'll put a date on it. We'll put them over here. I don't know. I'm just making up numbers right now. I can go back and look at them later because it's usually what I do. Which is on gray. Put them on gray. All right. And we're here for that. And we're here for the chaos. All right, next is Influencer. This one is going to be a little bit more challenging, I think. Oh, came out as gray. That stinks. All right, Influencer. Uh, sponsor scares. Influencers. Okay, so we're going to coordinate. Scare, uh, filter. Creation. Well, no. Coordinate scares, uh, reach out to influencers. Uh, meet up with LA based influencers with Empire. I don't remember his name. I had a name for the character. I actually came up with one. Ooh, Jonathan Boyd. What's up, man? Thanks for coming. It's good to see you here live. I'm glad you were able to make it this week. Um, uh, uh, there's Influence of a Vampire. Um, and... All right. That... Now, 
uh, build haunt. And this should have subtasks. Uh, location. Location. Actors. I'm just making this stuff up as I go. Permits. Um, what else we got? Location. Actors. Permits. Um, I think we should have... Uh, I don't know. Let's say animals. Animals. Let's make it crazy. Okay, we'll just make this... Uh, we'll, we'll put this in August. Actually, you know what? We're going to make this uh, September. Put this September 4th. Let's make this the 4th. It's a Saturday. That's a crazy time to reach out. I can imagine as an influencer, a random Saturday, you just go, hey, you want me to pay you $10,000? They're like, yes. Yes, please. Okay, so it's sitting. So basically right now I have this location. We'll hold these. These dates are going to be... I want to scout the location months in advance. So we're going to do the 24th. Just do this 24th. All right. Um, how are we looking? What does this look like right now? What's the Gantt chart look like? Can you see that all right? Let me blow this up. The wrong screen. There we go. And you see it's color coded at the bottom, so that's helpful for me. Ethan, is this uh, is this comparable to something you would do with your spreadsheets, or is this more in depth because it's a visualization element as well? Just questioning. Main table, main table. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, the cicadas are outrageous. I don't know if anyone else is in a cicada area, but these things are insane here in Maryland. Just like right outside the window going nuts. Um, oh, I just actually put two together at the same time. I just put two together at the same time. I accidentally put these together. Michael Erger with comment of the day. Out of context, still very funny. In context, about cicadas, 100% true. These things are, in the D.C. area, they are, they're picking them up on radar. Like on radar. When they're looking for planes, these one point, I think it's 1.5 million cicadas per square mile or mile. It's insane. They, I mowed the lawn yesterday, and I had to, I have to actually take my shirt off outside and like knock them off me. Before I go in, it's insane. It's disgusting. I used to keep reptiles and fed the crickets. Um, my wife loved them, though. No, noisy little things. Yes, they're gross. Uh, either with, I like Gantz. I'm fine with spreadsheets. I always said, if you can't organize yourself with documents and spreadsheets, then having a powerful tool won't help you. Right. My wife and I actually do our budgeting, our monthly bu budgeting off a... Um, uh, Google Doc, uh, like a spreadsheet, just a regular Excel spreadsheet, just the two of us. And like, we'll go in and we'll like highlight what we paid and what we didn't pay so that the other person knows. So it's like, oh, hey, want me just to pay that? Like, you didn't pay it yet. And she's like, oh, yeah, I have it, but no big deal. And I'm like, yeah, well, I'm sitting here being awesome. Want me to do it? That kind of thing. So. <sighs> Tony. 
to me vacation. Oh, okay, back over to influencers. Now bring me back into the picture. Yeah, there's me. Big me. Said little me. There's little me. That's everyone's favorite me. <laughs> Not the big me. Um, in there we go. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm good. I think, okay, I think what I'm going to do is so move over to new group and then do uh, viral stunts. And then what I want to do is uh, I want to fly. Like, I got quiet there, and I'm real sorry. I was actually looking at this. Oof. Give me one sec. I got to run to the bathroom. I'm going to freak out if I don't. It's that stupid monster. Here, look at the back of my chair. Oh. Okay. That was hilarious. <sighs> Sorry. It was the energy drink and the jitters and the stage fright. I really wish you guys had all left comments like Sean's a pee-pee pants or something. And also when I left the room, the dog had peed in the hallway. So I think that my wife and son left the house to go do the parade thing for his school and the dog peed in the hall uh, which is funny because she was downstairs and had the choice to pee on the hardwood floor but she came upstairs to pee on the carpet because she's mad and me for doing this so god bless the dog um so we'll go with uh for our stunts uh All right, one second, Paul Rick. I'll come right to you. I want to do this. Okay. Um, and I want to because I feel like I'm missing stuff. Uh, okay. Some dates on these. Oh, wait, let's say we're filming. I'll just say May 1st. I'm just putting these dates. Okay. All right, yo. Hey, man. As always, be good, be safe, Ethan. I'm not done with everyone. I'm not done with everyone. Ethan's just stepping away. Don't you dare leave. Um, Paul Rick, are you better off with a website or social media page for film projects? Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Do you want the film to live forever or do you want it to become something that gets forgotten by the internet and is no longer indexable and doesn't care? You're better to put off, uh, put up a one page email, a one page website uh, that doesn't need to be refreshed later on. 
than to put up social media pages that you don't uh, don't use. I literally had uh, for King of Fitness, I had a one page website that I had to uh, I had I got hacked by some Russians during a film conference where I actually said on stage that I challenged. This is not a joke. I challenged someone to hack my site. I was like, it's not that it's unhackable. I just think it'd be ridiculous if someone did that at a conference this small. And then someone looked and said, hey, look, your site's been hacked literally a half hour later while I was on the panel. Um, so that was kind of a, so it was kind of funny. <laughs> this is kind of incredible. Um, but yeah, so that was that. Uh, do a one page website, maybe two page, three page. I know who has a really good example of this. Um, it, I'm going to share it. Uh, no, you know, it's a really good example of a small site. Um, hang on. It doesn't have to be huge. I'm going to, here we go. Michael, sorry, I'm sharing your site. I didn't, yeah, it's like five pages. It's just a five page with just links to deeper stuff with more. And then we'll pull up the page. It just switches. Now, this is a stylistic thing. And then the trailer. So it's all based on science or based on style. Uh, but the size is perfect. I, I, honest to God, truth, I say this all the time. If you're going to take the time to build a website, build something that's got substance moving forward, like this moving forward will make sense, like five pages. Like this film will last forever. You know what I mean? Like it's it's going to exist. So why not have a site that can also live in perpetuity? Um, so that's just it. I hope that that makes sense. And well, the filmmaker is with us, <laughs> Michael Erger. Uh, and he also is trying to now backpedal on it being a site and say it's still in beta. And that's fine. Everything is in beta all the time, including my show. If I have to sit here with my wrinkles and bumps, your website does as well. There it is. And there she is. And there it is. And there she is. All right, we'll go back to my show. We'll go back to my show. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're there. We did viral stunts. We're all, oh, we'll close Pescador. Um, almost done. We're to email, and that'll be the last one. And oops, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Email. And then email comes in at my color of my glasses. Digging in diaries, and you'll need like digging in diary segment. Um, going to need a from your desk reality film centric. Uh, from your desk film centric segment. So this is gonna be realistic. And then fan email. Also, by the way, Park offered the compliment to you, Michael, on the site. Yeah, if you get a chance, it's Pescador. Um, I'll put it out. It's pescadormovie.com. Um, I think that's it, right? Hold on, let me just make sure. Yeah, I want to make sure I had it correct um, so that you can check that out. If you want to see the trailers on there as well, too. Um, it's a good fit. Good uh, good little trailer. Hold your attention. But he uh, the, did, a, they did a good job with the trailer. Did a really good job with the site. So Michael should be very proud. Um, so we did the three email stuff. We filed it out. So we'll look at the Gantt now. Um, and you look at, I want to make it. And you can see here, I didn't really talk about the integrations before, but the other stuff that you can hook together, uh, if you're an Asana user, if you use Basecamp or Clearbit, if you're using a bigger team for whatever reason for work, Eventbrite, Facebook ads can be integrated in here so that you can actually maintain your uh your budgetary stuff from within MailChimp, all of the stuff that we're talking about. If you're doing your email marketing, um, Slack as well too. your conversations. So when you tag someone, um, you tag someone in an actual integration, um, 
or tag someone in a job in a, oh my gosh. Hello, Sean. When you tag someone um, in one of the actual uh, tasks, it would tag them into Slack as well too. Um, so that that's a really good little feature as well. And also does it in the emails so that they get those. Uh, but you can explore all the stuff that's here, Shopify all the way through. They've added a lot of stuff. Um, if this and that type stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's really great stuff. Um, not free uh, all the time. I mean, you can use it for personal use, uh, small little account and do stuff. And eventually they try and ding you for it. But so this is basically gives you an opportunity to see what it would look like. Uh, what one week would look like. So you get a feel for like, oh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed this week. You know, like, man, I feel like I got I have so much I have to do. You know, look, I have to give the art assets to the developer. I got to open those official handles, which, by the way, is going to take you like a grand total of two hours if you do them. Um, we got the outreach to Rolling Stone. This uh, this item never existed. Um, you know, and I got to start the dollar week campaign. That's not really difficult. <laughs> it really wasn't a difficult week. It felt like there was a lot, but it puts it in front of you in a way that you can see. I mean, you can also do it in the timeline way where you can see in 130 days what, all the things you have to do stacked up against themselves. There's the Sean stuff. That was designated to Sean. Um, you can do other views. I mean, Kanban, I'm not really good with uh, because I don't really see it. This just shows you as a marketing manager type thing. Like if you use Kanban, um, like it shows you what's in the process. So you see what people are working on so that you can see Sean's supposed to be reaching out to Rolling Stone. Well, hey, Sean, have you talked to Rolling Stone yet? And like, oh, no, I haven't had a chance yet. I was like, well, what else are you working on that's in the way so that I can clear that? clear that pipeline for you so you can get that done um you know dollar a day campaigns and i know that those are those are important as well too like where are we at with those you know can i help you in any way shape or form you need support you know what can i do um those sorts of things and you can see where we're stuck art assets is not out and we need editing what's going on why are we stuck there uh well we're stuck because this is like okay do you need me to get, step in and help you uh speak to the developer because we need this art assets. We're stuck on art. Are we stuck in the art department? Okay, now with you guys, or me even, you know, I'm making the art assets myself in Canva, or I used Upwork, or I used Fiverr. You know, what's going on? Why are we stuck on making this film? Or not the film. Why are we stuck on making this this poster? You know, I, I don't have it. I was supposed to have it dated today. What happened? You know, you don't want to be angry about it because you need to work with these people, but you need to, you need to be fair. So... That's it. That's basically it. That's where we're at with this thing. As that was in a nutshell, the building of the of the strategy, what we got to do, and uh, you have to make sure that you take the time to put everything out. Take this to look like this. Was that helpful? Who knows? I mean, it makes it look a little bit better. That's for sure. I mean, you'll add a lot more. Um, it, cleaning this up to this I'm sure is helpful. Um, if it's, if it's of use, good. That's all that matters to me. I just want to make sure that you guys get something out of it so that you can, uh, can you enjoy it? So that said, um, where are we at? One to five, uh, one super, super helpful five. What the hell did we just spend the last five? 63 minutes talking about uh give me a heads up let me know where you're you're at give me a little check on the temperature before we go on to the next moment of the show which we know what it's going to be it's going to be me getting even with my son for his last day of school i think it's only fair that i have to do words of the week good two i'll take it solid two gotta take it marketing it is I go Urger two, and I plugged your movie, so that should be a one point seven. <laughs> I plugged your movie. <laughs> if, you, if you write back in right now and it says one point seven, I will uh, I will laugh really hard because <laughs> I'm in the kind of mood where I will laugh at just about anything. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Down the boy with the tube. So that, yeah, I mean the thing is, is that, like, listen, what we did, what we did was, uh, we cleared up a mess. I mean, next week we can talk about feelings from the, the on the road version of the show, which I do not yet know how I'm going to pack all of that deliciousness into one one road trip. 
but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out because we always do. Because we're Smiths. I don't know what that means. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so this part of the show is pretty simple. If you've never been on the show before, or if you've always wanted to be on the show and watch me do this part, enjoy your opportunity to laugh at me. This is Words of the Week. What is Words of the Week? Well, Words of the Week boop, is a portion of the show where my son gets the exact revenge on me for every mean thing I've ever done or said to him, even if it was joking, which usually was only joking. He misinterpreted it. Carter's seven years old. Carter's my partner in crime on my weekly podcast, and what he did is awesome. Every week, he goes in to this deck because he knows how to use uh, Google Drive because of school. Thank you, pandemic. At the tail end of this deck, there's three empty slides, and he goes in, and he goes to random word generator, takes three words that he likes. Hits, so he hits the button until he finds three that either sound super hard or that he likes, and he drops them in. The idea is that I have to take these three words and either define them using marketing terms, find a way to fit them into a role within marketing, or just explain them in a way that makes them sound nice with marketing. Everybody ready? Let's do this. Last week wasn't that bad. Week before that was really bad. I actually had to quit on a word. So, uh, and then I get anxious when I think of them. Here we go. Craft. Oh, marketing. Oh, my gosh. More than anything else, there's so much craft and nuance that goes into marketing. Um, it is not just about uh, who you know all the time. Uh, it is important who you know. But there are a lot of people out there that want to uh, hear about the projects that you're marketing and talking about. Like, let's say it's your film. Um, but that you just uh, that they haven't heard of you. Um, and they want to open your emails and they want to answer your calls, but you just have to be better than the other guy at getting them to answer the phone or open that inbox. You have to be better at winning that subject line war. Um, and it can't be in looking exactly like that guy you saw. It has to be in being exactly like the best person that got you to open those email that you saw. Um, and I think that that was why I've been good at marketing uh, was I got started because I was responsible for running a website um, that got a lot of marketing information. This is now, I mean, geez, 16, 17, 17 years ago. Um, I ran a website and I got marketing emails every day. And uh, I, I just learned what got me to open emails and then kind of applied that with my, my PR friends and bosses and uh, through the site, site bosses at that point. And, uh, and was like, listen, is this a good email? Like, what is, what is it? And he'd be like, what is it about this that you're compelled with? What is it that, you know, he's the VP of a very high level. Oh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm glad I'm actually back. Hello. Um, and he'd be like, what is it about this that you find compelling? What is it you enjoy about this email? Like, what is it that would move you to action? And so that's what we do. And uh, it's, it's craft, craft. And also it's a movie. Institution. In that font, that looks crazy. Anyway, um, I'm going to do this one funnier because I don't want to. I don't want to do well. If you think that you are better than uh, the people working at the big movie houses at coming up with ideas for campaigns, you're right because they. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to go with that one. I was gonna say but you belong in an institution, but to to be honest with you, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna denigrate people that have been in facilities. It's not worth it. There's an institution in marketing, and one of them is that the big companies, the big six, and then like my ex employer Jellyfish, who continues to scale and grow globally um, every couple of months, they're just huge. Um, that you uh, that it's it's you don't get rewarded necessarily for, for thinking creatively more for thinking along the lines of hey this is what works traditionally um and not finding new and unique ways but finding a way that works and then continuing to iterate different versions of that working strategy um and that's the institution and that's part of the reason i i don't like it i succeed because my job has always been to take something as far as you possibly can and win as much as you can with it and instead of kind of turning it a little bit to still make it win a lot I would rather find a brand new way to make it win a lot again. Um, and then just be like, yeah, I came up with this brand new way. I would rather be the guy that was like, yeah, at the forefront of dig and Reddit and stumble upon when no one knew that that was even a way to get people marketing. Like I was taking websites. Uh, I was taking 
clients, like let's say Monster was my client, and I'd be like, hey, Monster, like let's do a party with, you know, guyism.com, which is no longer a site. And we do a party and be like, hey, cover monster.com, man. I'll get you the front page of a dig and we'll get you 300,000 hits. And we did type thing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so <sighs> I guess it's just long standing institution. You have to do things a certain way. All right. You, you do. I think people think you can't sit in front of your camera and bullshit with people you barely know and calling your friends and uh, call your show. Let's talk marketing when it's usually rarely about marketing and usually it's about film. Well, it's about, it's about marketing. The bullshitting also you're not supposed to give away like 95 percent of your secrets but who cares also i have something cool for you next week we're going to talk about it i want to give you um i have a training that i did a while back that i think you all should have um but uh i want to i want to give it to you uh in signups for next week i'm going to put it together i'm gonna put it together expect uh listen what you've come to expect, uh, I think, from me is a level of honesty, um, and I hope that that is uh, enough. I hope you expect me to be fair more than anything else, um, because I expect you guys to be honest and fair with me as well, too. And I think that we build a relationship as a as a little community that we're building here, and then also in in the uh, in our Facebook group um, that uh, we we've got each other's back. And that we're going to continue to work together to, uh, to, to build something pretty great. And I hope that we uh, continue being super rad. Uh, we are six months in. And uh, I think that the sky is the limit. And if we continue to bring really great material and you guys keep emailing me stuff that you want me to talk about or dissect like this, uh, when you brought this to me, I thought this was awesome. And I hope that it was helpful for those of you that are here. Um, so that's it. So that's what you expect. These were three really fun words. I think that I started to go one direction with the second one and decided not to say something that would be uh, denigrating to the mentally ill, I think as an advocate and ally, that would not be kind of me. So I decided not to. Um, guys, one to five, one being great, five being crap. How did I do this week on words of the week? Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Wait. Oh, so my mustache was down. So my mustache was down. Mustache. 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 Uh, Gabrielle, you're welcome. We're almost done here. We'll continue to be good. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, just want to let you know also while you guys are coming, Park with a 1.5. Park, thank you. That was a good one. I actually enjoyed it. I think I deserved the half step because of the the pivot, but I'm glad I pivoted because it was the right choice. Um, I think, uh, as my mom would say, you're better than that, Sean Michael. Um, we, uh, I'm constantly. This is off my Facebook page, so you see that bottom line. Let me know down below. Don't me, uh, don't, don't worry about that. Tell me what you want me to be putting together coming up with uh put it in the uh 10 out of 10 from gabrielle see look at this boom i like it comes to our first show and then bangs out the compliments okay i'll take it i'll take it reluctantly i'll take it reluctantly all right part with the one and a half and uh Anything you guys want, email me, sean at uh, weareengine.com. Um, here's where I'm at. We are going to wrap it for this week. I'm going to blow this sucker up. Find me on Facebook at Sean Michael Smith. You can find me on Twitter at Sean M. Smith. Find me on Clubhouse. Same thing, Sean M. Smith. Instagram, S squared 22. Also, Twitch, S squared 22. We're on there right now. We've got some followers going on. Guess what? YouTube, Sean Smith 22. Capital S's, though, because there's some other Sean Smith with lowercase S's, and his channel's weird. Um, and then also, every Tuesday, my son and I put out our, uh, our podcast. Uh, it's a weekly thing that comes out. It's called Potato Salad Marmalade. It's just the Bubba and I. Uh, hanging out, talking stuff. Sometimes it's a fantastic adventure where we go somewhere. Sometimes there's imaginary friends that show up at the show to hang out. This past week, we just debated the best thing that happened uh, between an ocean and a pool. 
what's better? You can't find out until you go. Uh, but that is going to be it for this week. Um, I do want to note that normally uh, I do take uh, first-time visitors. I'd like to do a 45-minute call. We can sit down and just break down what's going on, see if you're stuck, help you get out of it. If there's a spot that we can work together, if I'm a fit for you, if you're a fit for me, uh, if it makes sense for what I'm doing, I uh, would love to help you out. Uh, go.oncehub.com slash Sean M. Smith. Um, I'm going on a break for two weeks. My last call is actually tomorrow. Um, but the uh, Jonathan, thank you, sir. You have a good week. The um, the the last call is tomorrow. So uh, if you want, uh, save that information and take a listen because I will be doing the show and the podcast, and that will be it. Uh, outside of casual browsing of social media, I will be in the pool and seeing my nephew. That will be it. So and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but that is all for now. And I can't get this off the screen. There we go. But that is it for this week, guys. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that showed up this week for Let's Talk Marketing. I am your faithful host. Why do I bounce when I do that? <laughs> it's funny because my arm's on the mouse, so my arm doesn't move. <laughs> Ooh, that's better. All right, guys. Have a great week. If you need me, you know where to find me. You've got all my information. We will talk soon, and we will talk marketing.